this is Khaled and today I'm going to explain the lesson 4 of Dreamweaver CC which is talking about CSS and we call it like cascading style sheets uh, first of all I want to introduce you to cascading style sheets which is something that unified my website so it makes everything unified the paragraph the headings the links the images tables border whatever element there is in my website it will be all unified so this will leave a better impression uh, for the user or the browser and uh, we will uh, make a site look more professional okay let's get started um, this is a small introduction about CSS and I will also teach you today how to start building a professional website I'll move to the Dreamweaver now you remember when we started Dreamweaver we started in a very simple way now when we are mastering well I'm going to give you some more advanced features in order to create a better looking website and also manage my files in a more proper way we used to click on create a new now I'll postpone this before creating a new web page I'm going to the site menu that is here at the top and I'm going to, uh, going to create a new website when I click here I need to name my website let's say uh, I'll name it project project website and I will pick the location on my desktop and create a new folder name it website so I'm going to save my web our project website into the website folder now everything is ready before we start I'm going to do a small simple thing that will make our life easier I will go to the advanced setting and I will pick local info then I will choose the default images folder so inside the website I will create a new folder called images this is very important step and this will make you feel more relaxed more comfortable when uploading images or inserting images into your web page because any image that you will get from any local desk it will be automatically saved in the images folder so no need to copy and paste images like we used to do before now I'm ready I'm going to save website and here I am I am just going to start building my website which is called the project website and high images folder inside it now simply I can create a new page HTML page of course because our lesson today is our cascading style sheet or CSS I have an option to create a CSS file from here and I have an option to create it from the HTML so I will use a simple way first I will pick this one I will type in the title which is very important guys in the searching um, options in Google when you type a proper title for your document it means it will easier search for it when someone is browsing or searching for your uh, web page so I will name it like uh, uh, my Dreamweaver web page let's say anything and I will create it now so if you see I have the title here my Dreamweaver web page I have my first page here everything is as usual the new thing is what is that I created a site folder it has all the files inside I will be saving everything inside this one okay so let's say I have uh, some text or heading my first web page let's say I'm going to talk about uh, myself or Dreamweaver or whatever uh, let's say my uh, personal info then uh, education uh, hobbies and uh, gallery so I'll just simply mark this one as heading one I can do it from the insert menu as we used to do and I can go simply from the format in the properties the panel I can pick heading one my personal information I can pick heading two the same thing with education I will pick also heading two I'll just do it quickly 
to see how CSS works then after that I'm going to insert uh, some kind of paragraphs here okay I'm I will just use some ready text this is about my information this is about my education the hobbies have the same thing I'm just going to uh, don't focus on the content it's what we need is uh, uh, the, the features so now I'm going to insert an image look at this now I'm going to go to the desktop search for any images that are available here let's say I will uh, put my picture and I will put also another picture that is you see the pictures automatically uploaded in the images folder which is make our life much easier I will go to this website get uh, my car picture okay and you see there's also another picture it will be automatically saved in my images folder okay and I'm done with this do we have any more headings I think I'm done okay so now let's start with CSS CSS as I told you is a cascading style sheets it has different options we can control and change this horrible page plain text black and white into different colors and different um, options that will uh, do formatting or control the size and the look of my uh, elements so if I want to create a CSS file I will go to the CSS designer tab so now we took the files tab which has my uh, images and my files we took the insert tab or panel and finally now we are going to look to the CSS designer now if you see we have the source file we have the media and we have the selectors of course we have the properties as well now in order to start my CSS I need to click on the plus sign here and I will see three options the first one is to create a new CSS file which is I'm going to do now the second one is attach existing CSS file and we don't have one at the moment but it is the first way I will teach you later on how to create an existing file which will be which is going to be the same and the third one is defining page which is the less used because it is called inline CSS so that means I will um, uh, directly modify the word that I want so to let's start with the first option which is talking or uh, asking for to create a new CSS file okay now I need to browse and pick the location uh, this is my location the website this is my images here I will just pick it outside create a new folder I will name it CSS and inside it I will name a file usually it's recommended to name it as a styles dot css okay I'll save it inside and I'll click OK okay now we have the styles css if you see and we have the source code so we have two source codes one is for the CSS the second one is for the source code of my web page if we want to create a CSS file we have um, to go to selectors now what is selectors mainly selectors are the tags that are available in my document so for example we have head tag we have body tag we have h1 h2 we have paragraphs and whatever we have the strong we have the image tag for my images we have everything okay now in order to create a selector I will simply type the selector name okay which is for example h1 in this case I want to change all the heading ones which I have only one heading now when I click enter and I select this selector which is h1 I'll find the properties here so whatever I apply on properties it will be applied on the h1 we have different categories the first one is layout the width the height uh, the display and whatever we have the text so let's say I'm going to change the text color uh, to blue navy and I also want to change the font family into let's say Lucidia okay we have the font style 
italic or uh, obq normal it's up to you and you see everything is changed and let's keep it normal we have the font size we have the text alignment text decoration if you want it underline or line it through we have a lot a lot a lot of properties and i'm not going to um, go through them all if you want for example the text the text transformation if you want to make it capitalized or capital letter you can do it as well okay we will go to the third category which is the borders and this means if you want to make a border for the heading you can also apply uh, some border properties here if you like you can try it at home okay and not uh, mess up with this page we have the background and we can also pick the background that I want for my heading one only so let's say I'm going to pick some kind of uh, light blue color so if you notice guys whatever I applied here it's going to be applied on my document and also it's going to be applied on the heading one selector so all of these properties are going to be applied on heading one I know what is uh, in your mind you are telling okay let us try heading two so again in order to apply CSS on heading two I will click on the plus sign in order to add a selector I will type inside here h2 which is heading 2 pushing enter or return I will find the properties for heading 2 the same way I'm going to do here I'm going to change or unify the text for uh, heading 2 let's pick another type of text or font family let's pick another background I'll make it like looking different let's uh, the font style uh, font size I'll leave it as well text align you can make it at center so that means everything will be in the center if you notice this the, the font family that I picked it's not like uh, that professional so I will just change it okay and I'm sorry about the color I was supposed to change the color of the background okay I'll make it like this and I'll go to the background and I'll change the text or the font uh, sorry the background color into this light yellow okay uh, it's not clear as well so definitely you will play with the colors and pick a different color it's better okay it will be it will be saved when I uh, when I run the program okay no worries about this you can do the same thing the, all the options that you want okay there's a lot of options you need to try all of them so now we have if you see the heading two, we have a unified a unified coloring and formatting for everything okay would you like to try the paragraph I will click the plus sign I will type P for the paragraph and then I will go to the properties by selecting the paragraph and let's say I'm just going to change the font family of the paragraph to be times it's times new roman okay I'll change it like this it's not uh, it's awful basically you need to try the text that you need okay this is nice and you see the color red is applied now you see uh, guys it is unifying my website it looks more professional what about the images I want the images to have the same size okay so simply I will go to the plus sign I will type IMG the image selector okay of course you need to know some of the basic codes and I will control the height in pixel I will make it like 200 okay and also I will manage the, uh, the width I will make it okay it's automatically coming if you see wow I really feel impressed this is my CSS file I played with the H1 selector I played with the paragraph I also modified the image and the heading 2 
everything was done in a very professional way. Simply, I will save my site and I will save uh, the CSS. So it's better to save all. Uh, this is my index page as the first page and I will save it inside here I'll have the images in the image folder I have the CSS in the CSS folder and um, hope everything is I want to show you something which is how did I link you remember when I click on the source and I created a new CSS file now this file was linked to my HTML file or web page if you see in the title, there is something called link href css styles.css relative style sheet type text and whatever. It's a long code, so it is linked with this one. Let's say I have another page, okay? I will open another page, and after that, I want this to be applied. All of this setting in the CSS, I want it to be applied on the new page. Yes, I can do it, but simply I will go to the other option and I will attach existing CSS file which is now available with me okay if you like to try this I will just uh, create or open I'll check if I can open another website from another folder a website that has links this one that we did last last time and now I'm going to try to link the CSS file here what I'm going to do is I will attach existing file and I will browse for it I will go to the website folder CSS and I will try to attach the styles that I created and see what will happen this is the link that I was telling you about now if you see guys everything is changed as per even the images the paragraph the objectives everything was done perfectly okay I hope you get it if you don't get it please leave a comment or ask me in my class I don't mind so I will save this one as well and I will now teach you how to create a CSS file from scratch I will go to file new now I will head to CSS I will create another file this is it it's still untitled what I will do now is only I will add selectors so for example h2 sorry I need to click on the plus sign then type h2 and simply go to the properties change whatever I want it will be applied here and then after that I can link it again and attach it as an existing CSS file I hope you get it guys you need to practice a lot you need to see all the options we have I will create another video that will have special effects using CSS uh, advanced like advanced setup and I would like to share it with you within two to four days until I complete the video uh, until now I'll see you uh, next week and stay safe this was Khaled with you hope you enjoyed my lesson and see you guys Bye-bye.